I'm Patrick Norton from Tech Thing, and I'm here on Digital Trends today to show you some cool Raspberry Pi projects just about anybody can build. Raspberry Pi Model 3 just went up for sale, and it brings up a question we've been having ever since the very first Raspberry Pi launched four years ago. What can I do with a $25 PC the size of a credit card? Okay, the new Pi 3 costs $35, not $25, and for the first time has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, along with an Ethernet jack, an HDMI port that allows you to connect it to your HDTV. But really, a computer that costs less than a couple of pizzas? What good can it really be? A lot, actually. The low-cost all-in-one computer designed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation was built to make it affordable for people of all ages to explore computing and to learn how to program in languages like Scratch and Python. Now, that may sound a little boring, but it's been used to control robots, it's become the heart of high-def home theater boxes, it can run a simple version of Minecraft, there's even an Astro Pi project. Sound like space? Yes, it's running student projects on the International Space Station right now. So, this cheap credit card sized PC can actually do a lot, and not just if you're a geeky Linux guru. Seriously, if you can download a file to an SD card, I bet you can, you can turn a Pi into a bunch of really cool things. Here's five of my favorites. I love great audio. By installing Volumio or Rune Audio on your Pi, you can make a pretty cool box for streaming audio. Add a good USB or Hi-Fi Berry DAC. The Hi-Fi Berry is a Pi Hat, a device that plugs onto the pins on the Raspberry Pi. You'll have an audiophile grade music player you can control from your smartphone and play over your stereo or headphones. The interface is fairly sophisticated and you can even run music services like Spotify. Want to stop ads from clogging your internet connection and your home network? By typing a few lines into a Raspberry Pi and changing a setting on your router, you've created a Pi hole, a black hole for internet advertisements, which will automatically block ads from 155,000 domains. Seriously, ads won't come anywhere near your home network. Compared to a pricey monthly service or a $150 box, that's pretty amazing. Just do me a favor and don't block the ads here on Digital Trends. They pay the bills. Now, five grand for Samsung's Family Hub refrigerator might sound like a bit much. It's a lot of cash. How about starting simple? For about $4,800 less, bolt a Raspberry Pi to a touchscreen monitor and build a Google Calendar that hangs in the kitchen. Okay, it won't have the built-in camera that takes pictures of the contents of your fridge like Samsung's Family Hub, but you know what? You could just look in the fridge before you head out to the supermarket or get even more of your maker on and put a net cam inside of your fridge. That would be so odd. <laughs> Open a lek. Sounds like a Star Trek character, or at least its honorary title, but it's actually a version of Kodi, the open source entertainment media hub. You download it, you install it on the Pi, and you have a simple DIY streaming box that plugs into the HDMI port in your HDTV. It plays your HD videos, audio, displays photos, even TV shows you've recorded digitally. It's really cool. While we're talking fun, the Raspberry Pi and RetroPie make an awesome foundation for a vintage DIY game console. You can run it on your HDTV or in an arcade cabinet, though it's going to take some work to build your very own arcade cabinet and controllers. MAME can run classic arcade games and emulation exists for NES, Game Boy, SNES, Genesis, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, and quite a few more. The RetroPie project is a good place to start. You can find it at blog.petrockblog.com slash RetroPie. Look, this is just the tiniest intro, the littlest look into the world of Raspberry Pi making. 3D scanners capable of capturing human-sized objects, tools to teach braille, thermal monitors to help brew beer, automated cat food feeding systems, all made a bit more possible by a tiny low-cost computer. Go play with one today or get one for your kids and see what they can make. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Patrick Norton for Digital Trends.